everybody, and welcome to another bookshelf roast. You submitted your shelves asking, please, please dear, dear Daddy, Daddy Goblin, Goblin, please light them aflame with, with your, your words. words. I'm going to do that here today, and to make sure this is the best bookshelf roast yet, I've decided to add Mako Cam. That's right. We're all gonna get a little bit of Mako today. I cannot promise he will play with his toy for the entire length of the video, but let's just hope he's feeling generous. But without any further ado, let's go ahead and start roasting your bookshelves. I can't think of a rhyme. And I wanna give a huge thank you to today's sponsor, Scentbird. Scentbird is a monthly subscription service that allows you to try scents before you commit to one. They work with brands like Prada and Gucci and over 600 others I've never heard of because I'm an idiot. Just slip your fragrance into your atomizer case and you're good to go. <laughs> <laughs> Lately, I've been reaching for the Tommy Bahama Maritime Voyage. It gives me a fresh tropical citrusy vibe without smelling like something that was bought by a teenager at Target. Most of these brands can cost between $150 to $500, but Scentbird offers all of these fragrances at a fraction of the cost. Using the link down below, you'll get a 30-day supply for just $17. And when you're ready, you can decide to upgrade to a full bottle. And with my code DANIEL55, you will get 55% off your first month of Scentbird. Thank you again for Scentbird for sponsoring this video and be sure to check out the link in the description down below. Back to the bookshelf roast. And we're gonna go ahead and start on off with a shelf submitted from Brody W. Whitburn. And this is a very standard shelf. Not a whole lot going on here except for a very creepy bird that looks like it knows what I did last night and I don't like that. But overall, the best roast I can give you here is you've wasted my time by sending it it's completely void of character. Just like your books. I actually haven't read them yet, but I figured that'd be a good burn. Listen, I just went through a huge book purge and donated like half of my books, but hey, at least one of the bookshelves still looks nice. I will be the judge of that, you fool. Is that supposed to look like a pineapple? I'm just gonna assume you're a SpongeBob fan. This shelf looks like it's in the middle of a catastrophe happening, like a forever frozen fall facing you with a fallacy of fan kind. You have a salt lamp, which lets me know you believe in some stuff that's not based in science. Uh, you have a fantastic collection of vinyls above here and an interesting looking plushie that's not a Funko Pop. Appreciate that. I'm personally not a huge fan of these more wire looking bookshelves, but unlike the last bookshelf, which was a D, I'm going to go ahead and say this does have some character to it. I am 100% confident you are a hipster and you're not even one who invested in like a really good record player. You just bought like the cheap Target one. <laughs> <laughs> but I do weirdly feel like we'd be friends. Please. Uh, this one gets a C. It's fine. I think what's most frustrating here is very often I say, take two minutes to straighten up before taking a picture of your bookshelf to have it presented in front of literally tens of thousands of people. And to be perfectly honest, I'm lying a little bit sometimes with that because some of the shelves are messy enough that it would take 20 minutes to really straighten up enough to look good for a bookshelf roasting. But the frustrating part here is you're not even at the two minute mark, my guy. 15 seconds of moving the backpack and getting that outlet tucked away would have made this appear so much nicer. I would have even forgiven the side stackage. But even more frustrating than all of that, you've left this cryptic ass mystery on the board where it's how old is Percy actually? LT equals, is that a seven or a nine? BL equals three, LO equals four, SM equals two. What are, what's happening right now? Now, all day, I'm gonna be wondering what you're trying to figure out. If you figured it out, is this homework or is it some kind of like fantasy fan, like deep dive where you're getting into some mythology around an author that no one else is aware of? I don't know. This is like tailor-made to piss me off. <laughs> So my roast here is gonna be, fuck you. Real quick, this is really nice. I normally don't kind of like having that reddish wood tint here, but the stain is working. Your chair's a little bit worn, but like that just means you're not replacing it unnecessarily and not buying into like the consumer culture of like something's a little bit worn, you have to get a new one. No, you're fine. It looks great and it serves its purpose. It's got character. Unlike Brody's characters. <laughs> 
That's gonna be the joke of the video now. The collection of books is impressive. You have some nice funkage without Funko Poppage. I especially like the fan over here that I think is the guy from Big Hero 6. That's a really cute fan. Man, Mako, you are just going nuts on that thing. And while I don't normally like people having a gaming setup inserted in their books, and I also don't really like RGB that much, I, it's amazing how much I have to tell people to clean their goddamn rooms. This right here, is truly impressive. It's a f***ing masterclass in how to do so much wrong with so little. Let's get into exactly what I mean here because this shelf actually has enough space to have all the books in a row, but you have decided, nay, sir. Instead, I am going to stack books in front of each other unnecessarily for literally no goddamn reason. And then on top of that, you're going to not take the two seconds, literally two seconds it would take to reach in and pick up your cluster of wires and remove them from the shot. But no, those must remain and are a crucial part of the bookshelf aesthetic. If you submit them with the roast, I have to include them. So from from there, we also just have some kind of McDonald's toy of a Lightning McQueen car, which I'm pretty sure those haven't been given away at any fast food restaurant for a long time. So is this given? Is it part of a child's place that you have? I don't know. So now I'm asking questions. And then finally, just putting a cherry on top, you have not matching editions of the books on display here. Truly. A masterclass. This is this is almost an art piece. You even have like a divided line down the middle between like tech and literature, but then you threw a Lightning McQueen in there and I'm just, I'm mystified. If this was in an art gallery, I would spend time looking at this, wondering what the hell is wrong with humankind as a whole. But instead of it being that, it's just your home. I really, really wanna get in there somehow and I never will be able to. B plus, but I'm sad looking at it. I feel like you've done the absolute best you can with what's at your disposal, and I appreciate that, as compared to Brody did with his writing. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore, Brody. I'm just taking gut shots at you. Amanda the Jedi. Oh my lord. I, <laughs> wait, what? what? <laughs> Why, uh, I, I actually responded to this a while ago, but I never really looked at it closely. Why do you have a sand shrew so well protected? Is that like a first edition so it's super valuable? I like the little Michael Creighton book. That's fine, though. I actually almost made a video recently about how I think his writing does not hold up as a whole and like I was going to be a deep dive in him. Probably going to work on that later this year. I love the crocheted skull. You have an amazing taste in books. I don't know why I'm saying that. I just, just can feel it. And you're low key flexing on my entire audience right now that you got to go to TIFF. I know you saw Glass Onion before me and it hurts. So this is I'm forever jealous. That's my rating. I'm jealous because I really want to go to TIFF one day. I know exactly what to give this bookshelf. Okay, we're gonna take this and we're gonna put it right in there. That is your rating. I mean this very genuinely as a compliment. If you were to look up modern voracious readers bookshelf like in some kind of picture-based dictionary, this should be the result. But I mean that like you are a hardcore modern reader. You are doing what a lot of people do now in terms of the additions, the collections, the knackage, like it's all there, it's all fairly standard, even down to like having a Pokemon included somewhere. But that being said, I do genuinely believe you've probably read 88 out of 100 books for 2022. Dear God, that's impressive. And the amount of effort to make this aesthetically pleasing is clearly paying off. Though you have a bunch of side books here, you have yet to put in the gaps available in your shelf, clearly because you are not able to color match them yet. And that is of higher priority to you. And that's also part of why you absolutely fit the definition of an avid modern reader who watches way too much book too. I'm gonna give this a B. Your aesthetics are driving your overall look at your shelves a bit too much, but that's part of the character you have, unlike Brody. Fuck <laughs> I, I don't, I don't have a whole lot to say. I just really like this one. B plus. Going off of the collection of books, how they're presented, and literally everything else, uh, this person has killed people. Uh, you don't own a cat. I can say that with 100% confidence because this would not survive having a cat. Would it, Mako? And you're bordering into like Jurassic Park. I do like the mappage, don't like that it's covered. If I'm gonna come over and look at this map, I don't wanna have to go like, and Rohan. The shelf itself looks fine until you like 
notice how crowded it is, you are very close to entering the territory of just overcrowded and overstuffing yourself. You need to get another one. You can get them super cheap or build your own. That's fine. But your next book run is going to cost you more than just money. Uh, I'm going to go with C because the amount of plantage here, like the books, is just a little too much. Why would you send this to me? First of all, find God. I don't care which one, just find a God. The funniest part is it's so messy. And I'm not even talking about the amount of clutter. You can organize clutter. It's just messy. But then for the holiday season, you just put a fucking Christmas tree on top of it. And you're like, there we go. We're festive. <laughs> It's the definition of sloppy with an attempted spit shine, just like Brody's books. All right. <laughs> you brought me a four course meal, then took a shit on it. It's like such high effort, but then you look at the small details and it falls apart. There's just too many things stuffed in haphazardly. You got an open box. The Christmas edge is actually okay, but like there's a lack of attention to detail. I'm gonna reduce you down to a B, but just clean it up and you could be an A plus. And I really love that Lord of the Rings poster. That is awesome. Okay, this, hear me out. I'm gonna go for a story time here because you had someone who was a reader and really liked getting new books and going through more series and stories. It meant the world to them. And so their collection continued to grow to the point where they needed another shelf. So they brought one in and they filled that one up too and repeat and rinse and repeat. And then they got to the point where they already had a poster on the wall, but it was too late. They were too far down the rabbit hole. It didn't matter that they are literally just putting a bookshelf in front of a goddamn poster. You bet your ass that bookshelf went up because they can't take the time to move that poster four feet to another wall and instead, nay sir, shelf goes up, series keep getting red. <laughs> You couldn't even bother not blocking the fucking window. <laughs> Wonderfully displayed though, I really like it. Maybe actually a little bit more knackage, but possibly not because you've done such a good job of organizing and displaying the books. I think you're at the proper limit. I'm gonna give you an A plus and stop. At least I make myself laugh. I'm trying to figure out right now if having Calvin and Hobbes and an epic Lego battle undoes the Funko Pops. Kayla, come here, come here. Does having a epic Lego battle and the Calvin and Hobbes special edition undo the terribleness of the Funko Pops? I'm not gonna lie, what it, I saw was it looks like a swimming pool with like concrete sides on it, so I thought for a second they were all swimming. Oh, it's, um, a, it's a fuck epic war at a water park. <laughs> Great concept, bad execution. Bad execution, yeah. I teach you a dragon steel con that my shelf must be perfect because you haven't roasted it yet. I built my own house as a gin con and added this blocking in the basement wall. Currently my office. I'm an audiobook guy, but started my fantasy collection. That's actually something I see having a lot of potential if you like fully build a shelf new wall and cover up that backdrop. I like that. Oh, I remember meeting you. Yeah, you were at the, I think it was the Wheel of Time show panel, correct? And it's a perfectly fine, humble little beginning collection. This has the potential for like a tier in the future. You just have a lot of work to do and I think you can appreciate me saying that. So for now it's a D, but that's like the softest D ever. But that's like, the softest D ever. We're gonna start a support group called the Daniel Told Me to Find God group. Oh, doesn't fit in a photo, so here's a little video. That's cute. I like that. I actually really like the idea of having that. I don't see whether or not you actually have a ladder or a footstool just underneath there. I hope you do. Uh, but yeah, that's really cute. And I like it. I'm actually gonna give you a B plus because again, kind of different. I mean, I have some books, but it still count. Why? Why? It doesn't look good. They're just soulless eyes staring out from a shelf that could do so much more and the amount of money that could have been spent on... You like schlocky horror and I'll give you a little bit of bonus points for that. This is an F and join the support group and you will be the person in the group who says stuff that makes everyone else go, whoa, buddy. Like, you know, the opening scene in Hereditary where Tony Collette's just like monologuing away where everyone else around her is like, oh my God, that. I'm not gonna give you a grade. I'm, I'm gonna give you a, please don't submit this again. <laughs>
I hope everyone knows this was all in good fun. And thank you so much for showing up and giving me your shelves to roast once again. It's been a blast. And thank you again to today's sponsor, Scentbird, for supporting this video. If you'd like to smell, <clears throat> Ah, be sure to check out the link in the description down below or in the pinned comment to start smelling funky fresh today. Thank you everyone, like and subscribe if you've not already and check out my Kickstarter for the bookmark that costs less than a lot of bookmarks on Amazon and is made of premium materials for my series, The Lawful Time, with art from Felix Ortiz. We're over 45 times funded and I really appreciate that. Love you all, bye!